Crime after crime in Charlotte, and tonight many of the people who live here are simply fed up. Air Star caught this view from above as neighbors decided to march to city council chambers demanding action against crime. Now Michelle Bowden takes us inside this monumental meeting. Michelle, how'd it go? Well, this was truly an unprecedented outpouring of outrage. People not only demanding answers, but demanding change. They say they just want to feel safe again in Charlotte. They made their way to city council chambers. Then made their case. Four months ago, I almost lost my life to a man with a gun. I was about to get robbed. My husband and I were robbed at gunpoint. Quick show of hands. How many folks in here have been impacted by crime directly or know someone who has in the last 24 months? That's why we're here tonight. But it's time to say enough is enough. A packed chamber of Queen City residents who say it's time to take the streets back from the criminals. And it's time the city leaders make it happen. What we want to hear is how are we, each of us, going to make our streets safe again? Because many talked about not even feeling safe at home. Dr. Courtney James told the crowd he almost shot burglars at his house who turned out to be career criminals. Was I supposed to die that day? Is a member of the community supposed to die before we can put these people in the jail? The deputy police chief, even the DA, admitted the system is broken and council members vowed to help fix it. Because we need your help in fighting crime, but we also believe you need ours. If you need ammunition or if you need incentive to truly change how Charlotte deals with crime, the groundswell of support is here. So a couple of things very clear tonight. There was definitely a unified voice, not only among the people that came to talk to the city council tonight, but the city council as well, also among the chief and the DA, everybody vowing tonight to act. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Also something very interesting tonight, when the deputy chief was asked, why is this all of a sudden happening now? He said he seems to think that the same people who are committing drug crimes now seem to think that it's more lucrative to commit these home break-ins. So he thinks that's what's going on across Charlotte. We're live now from our WCNC mobile newsroom in Uptown Charlotte. I'm Michelle Bowden.